Let's go. Let's go. It's time for a rundown. We've had the Stony Creek Scout 15 for four years. And uh, so this is a warts and all um, summary of just how it's been. What's broken, what hasn't broken, what's good, what's bad, what we'd do differently. All of that. So let's get into it. So what's one of the first things that you did to the van? One of the first things we did, and a lot of people do, is change the suspension. Because the uh, Chinese suspension is very soft. So uh, we put the Lovell's um, springs and shocks in. The standard suspension is gone, and the Lovell's upgrade is in. It's about a $1,200 um, upgrade, and it made a huge difference absolutely recommend on any Chinese van swapping out the suspension for uh, levels and changing the wheel bearings. The wheel bearings are uh, likely Chinese as well so we pulled those out and put some quality uh, Japanese wheel bearings in. I was having some trouble with the batteries um, dropping down in voltage rather dramatically. In fact it got down to 7.6 volts which means uh, those uh, AGM batteries were cactus. So anyway, uh, Stony Creek uh, replaced those batteries under warranty for me. I got home, ripped them out, sold them, <laughs> because they're all brand new batteries, and uh, went and did a, um, a lithium upgrade. So now there's a um, Renergy charger uh, with a um, solar charger with a built-in DC to DC, um, which is good. And it's got the Victron AC charger now and two Renergy lithium batteries, so 200 amp hours and uh, the voltage is floating nicely. The ARC 750 jockey wheel is certainly uh, one of the more popular mods for the Scout 15, given that it's got a, quite a heavy tow ball weight and one that um, I swapped out very early on. Something else that I did um, is these uh, mud flaps. There's mud flaps at the front to uh, stop all your um, connectors, particularly your gas connectors and also your stabilizer legs, getting all mud through them, particularly the stabilizer legs. These ones are boss stabilizers that'll actually lift your van off the ground which has come in very handy when uh, we have had to lift the van up you know when you've got a flat tire these boss stabilizers will lift them up so that was uh, one of the things I did as uh, early on when we got the van is um, put the boss stabilizer legs on over the, uh, the standard stabilizers and they're very good lighting uh, uh, these are just uh, white lights and we've got some amber plastic covers to put over at night. If you're getting a, a hybrid van, get the ones that lights that have got the switch to amber. I like to put some um, rechargeable lights out away from the van at night, facing into our kitchen area. And that way we've still got light, but the bugs are attracted to the lights outside and away from your, away from your van. Two more additions I've done is one a 12 volt cigarette light plug on the outside so that when you've got your tv on outside on there watching the football it's got some power and a f-type input so there's terrestrial and satellite input there so i can run an external tv antenna and a satellite dish so when the uh, football's on uh, you're watching your favorite youtubes or something like that i have my automatic satellite dish on the top of the car and just run a cable down to the side there so you can watch all your favorite youtubers can't you mrs huckleberry sure can hey michelle hey, so we're doing a bit of a summary of our stony creek scout 15 mm -hmm. and i notice you're uh, out here at the kitchen um 
How's the kitchen been? What do you think is good and bad about it? Does it work? Is it broken? So um, the good thing about it is we're cooking outside, which we've not cooked in, a, in the van since we've had it. So it's four years of never cooking inside. Um, if we're at a caravan park, I usually put an induction cooker on the picnic table and just cook outside and then I don't have to get the kitchen out. But the bad thing about it, I think, is it's too heavy. It's too heavy. It's got four burners. Do you yeah. need four burners? No, because most of the time, three at the max, but so mainly I use There's two. only two things on there now. I've never seen three things on there. Mm, sometimes I do. Yeah. But yeah, but I think three would be enough. Um, the kitchen's great. It'd be great if it was plumbed in. I think they're doing that now with the Stony Creek. So they actually plumb the water in so you don't have to do this all the time. The van's a bit dirty at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's off grid. It's supposed to be. Yeah, it is. But um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked with the van. Like, we've got it exactly how we want it, like storage-wise in our pantry. Okay, storage... so the pantry big enough. Yeah, don't yeah. get any bigger. Do you want to open it? Well, kind of, I suppose. <laughs> I just got to get my husband's buns out. Yeah, get your buns out, so to anyway, speak. Anyway, so we have these four containers that stack on top of each other. I've got a little came up basket that keeps all my sauces and stuff in. That's just spare rice. Um, if you can go inside there, I use these containers from Woolworths. It's just got some flour and corn flour. So we put a little rack in the in side there. There's, there's two levels to it. So just got... so you use up all the uh, available space. Yeah, so they get up there quite nicely. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. Right. And what about the slide above the uh, the sink there? What's in there? That's good. Uh, well, I can't really get it out because all these things are out. And that's, I suppose, an issue. Um, if you've got the kitchen out, you've got to... So to get that out... You've got to not have the kitchen in the way, but yeah. it'll slide out between the two shelves. Yeah, so I've just got two big baskets there. I keep our plates and things in there. All our pots are in there as well. All right, um, the washing up stuff and a few more spices and things. Yeah. Right. That's about so, it. So, all in all, you think the kitchen's pretty good, but uh, it doesn't need to be this big. Too heavy with those cast iron things. Yep. I don't really need those. And just a three burner. Only need a three perfect. burner. Yep. And that will get the whole weight of the van down a bit. Yep. Well, we've got the diesel heater installed and um, I was a skeptic who needs a diesel heater Honestly. I did it I installed it it's 153 bucks on uh, on eBay and uh, I took my time installing it used it this weekend and geez it works really well there it is press the on button on it goes starts to heat up and uh, you know takes Four or five minutes and it's already heating the van up so honestly cheap chinese diesel heater and it's doing the job i added some mud flaps and pool noodles underneath to protect some of the undercarriage plumbing after four years the van does start to show its age a little bit with uh, some faded uh, checker plating and um, the joins in the uh, pop top you can see they're discoloring a bit so, in the van, I've installed the modem. Okay, trying to keep all of the cabling nice and tidy. So that's actually in the back, right up the back of the cupboards there. You can see that black conduit runs all through the cupboards and outside. Now, that's if I want to run an external antenna. But uh, just in towns... Uh, just the antennas that are attached to the modem will do the job. I mean, if you're getting a signal on your phone, then uh, these antennas are going to do the job while you're in town. It's when you get out of town, that's when it's different. So rather than uh, just depending on the little antennas that are attached to the modem, when you're out of town and you're away from a cell, you don't get any coverage on your mobile phone, then you're going to need an antenna that can pull in a signal. So a high gain antenna. And this one is directional. Um, so that basically focuses all its energy on pulling the signal from one particular source. So a lot more efficient at pulling in a signal than an omnidirectional antenna. So this one will go on top of a pole and be attached to the drawbar. 
A year ago we upgraded to the Ram. It's a much better tow rig for a van that weighs up to 3 tonne fully loaded. We're still very happy with our Scout 15 and looking forward to seeing the new Stony Creek Scout 19. I'm your Huckleberry. What has uh, blah, blah.